In this video, we're going to have a look at adding and subtracting integers. Now, what are integers? Well, integers are just a family of numbers which includes all positive and negative whole numbers, and it also includes zero. Okay, now we're going to look first of all at adding and subtracting positive numbers. And it's a good uh, thing to do uh, to have a number line either in front of you or pictured uh, in your minds because that can make the process of answering these questions much, much easier. Now, we're going to look at adding and subtracting positive numbers, first of all, and the way that we'll maybe think about it is if we think about temperatures. Okay, you're all familiar enough with temperatures, positive temperatures, negative temperatures, and it'll hopefully make things that bit easier to understand. Now, when you're dealing with positive numbers, adding always leads to you moving towards the white. Okay, so adding always means that you move towards the right of the number line, okay? Whereas if you're subtracting, you're subtracting a positive number, you're going to move down, you're getting colder if you like, you're moving to the left, okay? Okay, so adding, you move right, subtracting, you move left, okay? Now, Let's have a look at a couple of examples. Let's start off with negative 2 and let's add 6 to it, okay? So all you do is you say, well, think about the temperature being negative 2. It's going up by 6. So you start off at negative 2 and you do 6 jumps to the right. And your answer is where you stop. So your answer here is 4, okay? So your answer here is 4, okay? So we get rid of that. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's say this time negative 3 and we'll add 7 to it. So we start off at negative 3. Imagine the temperature is negative 3. It's going up by 7. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 jumps. Where we finish up, that's where we stop. That's what our answer is. So our answer again is 4. Okay. Now, one thing I want you to notice, when you've got a negative number <clears throat> and you're adding a positive number to it, the answer is the same as if you were to reverse the order of your calculation. So see here, this is the same as 6 minus 2. This here is the same as 7 minus 3. Let's do another one. Okay. Let's do negative 7 plus 12. Okay. Negative 7 plus 12. So if we start off here, negative 7, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 jumps. We stop at 5, so 5 must be our answer. So our answer is 5. And that's the same as 12 minus 7. Okay? Now that only works when you've got a negative number and you're adding something positive to it. Okay? Let's have a look at a few more. Okay? Let's say that we are at negative... 9, and we're adding 6. So the temperature is minus 9, and you're adding 6. So it's getting warmer, so you're going to start off at negative 9, and you're getting warmer, so you're moving towards the right of the number line. So we're going up by 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 jumps, stop at negative 3, and that is your final answer. Okay? And let's do another one. Let's do... Um, Negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1. So the temperature is negative 2. You're going up by 1. Stop there. Your answer is negative 1. Okay. So that's how you add positive numbers. Let's look at subtracting now. Um, like we mentioned before, when you subtract, you move down the number line. You move towards the, the left. So let's say that we have um, 3 minus 7. Okay. So again, think of it in terms of temperature. The temperature is 3. You're going down by 7. Start off at 3. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 jumps down towards the left. So your final answer is negative 4. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's do um, 5 minus 9. So this time we're at 5. The temperature is going down. We're going down by 9. So we're going 9 jumps. the right. Okay. 
and our final answer is negative 4 again. Okay. And let's do one more. Let's this time go negative 3. And we'll take away from that, we'll take away 4. So this time, imagine the temperature is minus 3. It's going down by 4, so it's getting colder. So anticipate your answer. It's going to be a larger negative. So whenever you take away from a negative number, you're getting a larger negative. So we're at negative 3. We're going down by 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 jumps. And we stop at negative 7. Okay? So our final answer is negative 7. So that's how you add and subtract positive numbers. Okay? That's how you add and subtract positive numbers. So we'll do a few for yourselves to try just now. So once I put these questions up, you can pause the video and try them yourself. Okay? So let's do... 7 minus 9. Let's do negative 2 plus 6. Let's do negative 3 minus 7. Let's do uh, 4 minus 8. And let's do one more. We'll do negative. 7 plus 3. Okay, so pause the video yourselves, attempt these questions, and then you can come back and check and see how you got on. Okay, so for this first one, you start off at 7, you go down by 9, start off at 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, your answer is negative 2. Okay, so your answer is negative 2. Let's have a look at this one. You are doing negative 2 plus 6. So you start off at negative 2, and you go up by 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 jumps to the right. So your final answer is, is uh, 4. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. You're at negative 3, and you're going down by 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 10 is your answer. Let's have a look at D. You're at 4, and you're going down by 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 4 is your answer. And for this one, you're at negative 7. It's going up by 3. So it's like having a temperature of negative 7. It's going up by 3. It's getting warmer. 1, 2, 3. So negative 4 is your answer. OK, that's how you add and subtract positive numbers. Now let's have a look at what you would do with negative numbers, okay? We're going to have a look, first of all, at adding a negative, okay? Now, rather than me telling you what to do, I want you to understand why you do it, okay? And I want you to imagine that there's a talent contest, and that we have three judges, okay? And let's say that somebody goes up, does their thing, and the judges can award scores which are either positive or negative. Let's say the first judge awards a score of four, the second judge awards a score of 3, and if we stop there, what's the overall score? The overall score would be 7, okay? But if the third judge wasn't very impressed, and they give a negative score, okay? Remember, at the moment, the overall score is 7, okay? So the overall score is 7. But if I add a negative, what does that do to the overall score? it brings it down. It's no longer 7, it's now 6. Because when you take in all of these scores and total them up, you're no, lo no longer at 7, you're down to 6. So adding a negative leads to a decrease. Okay? Adding a negative leads to a decrease. Okay? So adding a neg negative means that you're going to decrease what you've got. Okay, when you add a negative, okay, what you've got is something along the lines of 5 plus negative 2. Okay, now when you add a negative, what happens? Well, all you're doing is you're going to take the plus and the minus, which are side by side, and you're going to think of it just as a simple subtraction. Okay, so adding a negative is just the same as taking away the positive, if you like. Okay, so a plus and a minus side by side can just be thought of as a subtraction. Okay. So adding a negative is just a subtraction. Okay, so here's a few for you, just, uh, for you to look through. Okay, we'll do a few examples and then you can do a few yourselves. Um, let's do 
3 add negative 1. What happens here? You end up with thinking of it as 3 minus 1, which is 2. Okay? Because the plus and the minus side by side is the same as a negative. Okay? Now let's do another one. Let's do 7 add negative 3. Plus and the minus can be thought of as a subtraction. So it's 7 minus 3, which is 4. Okay? Let's do, let's imagine we put negative 3 and you add negative 7 to that. The plus and the minus is just a negative, so you see that's negative 3, take away 7. Think of the temperature as minus 3, it drops down by 7, the new temperature is negative 10. Okay, so we'll do a bit of practice uh, ourselves later on uh, at the end. Okay, so that's what you do when you add a negative. So a plus and a minus side by side, that can just be thought of as a negative. Okay, so let's have a look at what happens when you subtract negative numbers. Now, in the previous uh, slide, we spoke about a talent contest, and the first judge gave a score of 4, the, third, the second judge gave a score of 3, and the last judge gave a score of negative 1. Okay, and that left us with an overall score of 6. Now, what happens if I take away this negative score? Okay, if I remove this negative score, and let's just take into account the scores given by the two judges, what happens? Well, our overall score increases, okay? So when you take away a negative, when you subtract a negative, what happens is that you end up increasing what you originally had, okay? So subtracting a negative means that you are going to be increasing, okay, what you have. Okay, so we'll look at a few examples and we'll see what we're meaning. Okay, so if you've got 7 and you take away negative 2. Taking away a negative means that you are increasing. So you think of this as a positive, okay? So two negatives side by side make a positive. 7, take away a negative 2 is the same as 7 plus 2, which is 11. 4, take away negative 3 is the same as 4 plus 3 which is 7. Negative 3, take away negative 4. That's just the same as negative 3 plus 4, which is the same as 1. Okay? So, two negatives side by side make a positive. Okay? So, two negatives side by side, that just makes a positive. Okay? Your two negatives, which are side by side just now, they come together to make a positive. Okay? Now here's a few questions for you to try yourselves and we'll go over the answers in a wee minute. Okay? So let's do first of all negative 2, take away 3. Let's do 4 minus 7. Let's do let's do um negative 7 plus 9. Let's do negative 3 plus 2. We'll also do 4 plus negative 1. We'll do 7 plus negative 9. And we'll do 2 more. We'll do 9 to go away negative 3. And we'll do negative 2, take away negative 5. Okay? So pause the video yourselves and see how you get on. Okay? Now, for this one, your answer should be negative 5. For this one, your answer should be negative 3. For this one, your answer should be 2. For this one, your answer negative 1. For this one, the plus and the minus make a subtract, so it's 4 minus 1, which is 3. For this one, plus and the minus make a subtraction, 7 minus 9, negative 2. For this one, two negatives side by side make a positive, 9 plus 3 is 12. And this one, two negatives side by side make a positive, so this is just negative 2 plus 5, which gives you a final answer of 3. Okay? 
So that's how you add and subtract integers, and I hope that you found that video helpful.